So, in the pursuit of making the Misfire channel the best rotary channel, at least in Australia, that's I'm aiming for the world, we're going to start doing things that no one else does. So, we've already done, uh, well, we did a skid. <laughs> it's as simple as that on a hoist. Does everyone um, just want more skids? Yeah, if you, you subscribe, want to, if, you want to see skids, let me know. If the page subscribers hit like 6,000 in a week, then we'll just do skids all the time. Yeah. I'll um, bring my FDs, you'll bring your FDs, and we'll just make this one big skid shed, and all the neighbors we, will hate us. Every 10,000, I'll pop tires. Nice. Right? Nice. Um, okay, what's, now, what's, what's today's video? So, today's video is so what we're going to do, we're going to test some more oil. So, we've got a pre mix oils here. The premix as you put in your fuel and a rotary, as you all know, because you're probably rotary heads too. Um, so, what are Ash, we going to do that no one else does? We're going to set them on fire. Nice. <laughs> right. Uh, so we're going to first of all we're going to put them in the um, the specially designed bowls. Um, <laughs> they've been heat treated. We did that before. Uh, so we're going to bang them in there, set them on fire, see if we don't go to the moon, and then after that we're going to put some uh, premix in some fuel. So we've got methanol. We've got E85 and we've got 98 octane. So we're going to put that in the glasses and then we're going to put the premix in and we're going to see how it mixes. We're going to use E85 just today and if people like the video and they watch the video, then we'll do methanol and we'll do fuel. Uh, we've got all the products. These are the main names, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. What products so, do we have? Back performance is E85 premix fuel additive. Um, they know what they're up to, so you'd, you'd hope that their premix is pretty good. Um, we've got the very famous Castrol R40. That's my pick of the litter, the one I use. So it's going to be good to see how that performs because I'm using it. Is that mineral or semi? Do no, we know? Uh, that's a full castor based oil. Okay. So then we've got the Penrite. Uh, that's also a castor oil, as you can see. Um, and it's a synthetic, so I've always steered away from synthetics. Well, it's um, a caster synthetic. You can see on the bottle yeah, there. Yeah, that's no, the other one. Then we've got Itamitsu. So I used to import this, so I do know a bit about it. Um, now, this is a synthetic. This would have been previously the only synthetic oil I'd ever tell anyone to put in a rotary. So uh, good stuff, purely designed for rotaries. Um, we're going to see how it mixes up, and we're going to see how it burns. What about this yeah. modal? Because I run that in the Drug RX-7. Yeah, so I've heard a lot of good things about this, to be honest. Um, and a lot of people run it, and it smells awesome. Contact item it years ago about running this with E85, and they said you can't do it with any um, ethanol or methanol fuels. But we're gonna have a look anyway, see how it mixes. Now this, um, we've got a fire extinguisher. Don't try this at home. We're trying, we're doing this in a controlled yeah. environment. If you see um, it on the news tomorrow, you know why not to do it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I think we'll, we'll put some E85 in here, and then we'll measure some um, premix, and then we'll drop some premix, and then we'll be able to set drop into the fuel and see how it spreads and mixes through the fuel. Um, and then we'll put a drop in the bowl, set the bowl on fire. Well, we always said that there's going to be a smoke show. <laughs> I just don't want to be it. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we'll go 25 mil. Okay, that's the standard that's, then. That's what we got. So we're going to go 25 on them all. So it sunk straight away. Straight to Went the bottom. Went straight to the bottom. I'm going to this, clean this out so we don't get any yeah, cross-contamination. So, Itamitsu. Now, we've been told you shouldn't run this with um, ethanol. So, that's completely clear which... So, that's going to be hard to yeah. see. Yeah. Um, all right. But here goes. I think this will mix up a lot Whoa, better. look at that. That separates, doesn't oh, that's it? That's even worse. Any, huh? one, any wonder they told me not to do it. And that's a fresh bottle, but there's no contaminants. Nah, this nah, is what we're good. using in both our cars. I've wanted to do this for years. Yeah, man. And there's yeah. so much talk about it. Everybody talks about these premixes. Like you go on Google and Google it, it's, but all you get on Google's op it's opinions. So know? what's everyone going to do? They've got to help us be the number one rotary channel yeah, in like Australia. Yeah, like we're only scratching like, the surface. We need, yeah. You we'll, want to see us like test rev limiters and how far you can push a crankshaft and stuff like that. Uh, Penrite, a uh, caster. Yeah, I don't so know about this stuff. I reckon this is going to be quite similar to the R40, the, the Castrol. Look, you can see that sat down the bottom. Don't ever run that with V85. That seems reasonable. Bit of separation, no. It's sinking. Top company. Yeah. I've used a product. They look after me very well as well, so. I didn't know it was clear. Because the TTS used to be coloured. Well, the, what was the R, the old R30, was that clear as well? Yeah, it's fairly clear, okay. yeah. I'll tell you what's interesting with that. If it touches a bit of salt water, it goes bright orange. 
but it's pretty good, eh? For clear, that's that's mixed. That's mixed really well, eh? All right, so we got the pack performance stuff here. Seems reasonable. Let's see, we haven't measured the the E eighty five. I reckon the modal and the the pack. All right, so it's been thirty minutes, um, and we've not done anything with it. We've just let it sit, so it's not been mixed or disturbed or anything. So here you can see the pack um, oil. It's um, there is a separation. If you come down to about here, you can see it's clear, and then it starts to get more and more pink as you get to the bottom. So there is a bit of separation. So uh, we've got the R forty here. It's a bit funny to say, like you can see it comes down to there. Yeah, it does. There's, there's, it's sort of sat below here. And that's eighty five. And see the condensation on the outside already. Yeah. Yeah. True. So. So. so Okay, well that's the, the R40 Castrol. Yep, and then we've got the Penrite, um, and you can see it's very similar to the Castrol, isn't it? You can see the, the line there where, where it's sort of settled. Um, and then we go to either Mitsu, I mean, yeah, that's a write off, forget that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless you want to blow your engine up, use that. Um, and then we've got the Motul. Now, this is your, your pick. So, In my opinion, there is no separation. This has had no stirring. There's no separation at all at any part of that? No, there's no separation. It has settled a lot at the bottom, but it's not separated. When you go to the extremes, you can see how much that's separated. Look. Yeah. Keep watching, subscribe, tell your friends. We want to make this grow. Yeah, and we're going to... Um, what are we going to do now? We're going to set it on fire. So see how it burns. We're going to see how it burns. Who else has done that? No one yet, so let's do it. I don't uh, know if this is going to be a good idea or not. Oh, it's a great idea. Anybody body for a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Not too bit. much. That's stirred up quite nicely, I look. It's going to run. Oh, yeah. Right, Amitsu, can we even stir that back? Heaps. Oh, yeah, that's probably too much. We're getting a good stir. So we've got the pen right. And drop a bit in. It's going to go everywhere, but. Mix it up better. Mix that up better. It's too late. It won't mix up. The old trusty R40. Give it a good tickle up. I wonder if people are going to actually comment on this and actually oh, get involved. I think they will. Or... Yeah, that's pretty really good. Too bad. It's, it's better than the the pen, right? Right. Let's see how this stuff. The pack in the rotary cup. So now that spoon, you should have had five different things. Anyway, <laughs> that isn't. That's sort of similar. If people to watch R40. the video, we'll redo this in a completely controlled. Let's see how they burn. All right. So the modal. Artemisu. Penrite, R40, a pack. What do you think? Oh. What do you think? Which is burning the best? I don't know. Well, it's interesting to see what smoke comes off in as well, you know, and see what's. Yeah, you know, the colour if it's letting off. Yeah. They're all like the same colour. I can't see anything visibly. Ah. This motor is a small plane, isn't it? But that could be just the amount that's in there, I guess. What would you describe the smell as? Um, fire. <laughs> <laughs> but does it smell like R40 or anything? To be honest, I think my, my nose head, my, my senses are all burnt from the yeah. caked in rubber. And Max Shrek rubber. Okay, look here, we've got some bubbling here. There's separation in that. There is, eh? Hey? There is. What's, it, what's going on there? Okay. What is fizzing going on? I mean, Motul's gone. The, the R40, there's a bit of brown afterburn. So the pack's burning clear, but there's separation. R40, there's some kind of browning. The caster's burning nice and clean. This is, look at the, the build up or the residue. Yeah, that, and the Motul's gone. Is that because it's empty? Just. I'd say it's just run out. But. Hit the bowl or something, see if it's run out. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so the modal burnt the fastest, R40 seconds. I don't know what's going on with that fizzing. I it? don't know if I'm... That's interesting. And look, it's, there's still... There's some There's some left in there, look. Look, there's left in that. So there's still some of the R40 left in it. What about the modal? Is there any left in it? No, all gone. Wow. And that's clean. 
it was like a bit of a residue there, yeah but that's but... what you want in your engine when you when you let it store or whatever <coughs> well did you see that then no it's too busy <laughs> coughing your lungs up <laughs> that's right <laughs> this is having right off as now wow isn't so that interesting i'd say what's happened there the fuel's probably burnt and it's then burning oil Pack, a Mitsu, 40 there's some left ah that was hot <laughs> funny that <laughs> Pasta. There's bugger all left in that. In the modal. What's actually left in there? Is that is that oil or it's what? Got to, it's got to be oil, yeah. Because what fuel? Can you there? fire it? See if it'll light, light up again. That is dead. That's... It's hard to. Okay, that was the uh, you know what I want to do? Have you ever heard of the hydrogen powered RX8? In I Japan? have. Yeah. I'd really love to put a uh, rotary on hydrogen, eh? Maybe in five years' time, I'm going to quote you on this. Yeah. We might be able to try. How if good we get would the, it be? If to we get have the support. A 20B PP hydrogen powered drift car. And we can build it in here. Yeah, and the then tools. we're greenhouse friendly. We can all live in a greenhouse or whatever. And you wouldn't have to worry about any of this. Hope yeah. everyone's really enjoyed it. Uh, we've really loved making it. So yeah, please subscribe. I know I've said it a couple of times, but we really need your support because we want to, um, there's no point in doing this if no one's watching. And I think it's interesting and we love doing it. So please subscribe.